No genocide allowed in Gaza, not in our name. Nicht auf unsere Nummer. what these yellow jacket people are all about. No genocide in Gaza allowed, not in our name. genocide in Gaza allowed. Thank you. Yeah, I'm Jewish too. I feel the same way. You know, oh, you're Jewish too? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. I have a lot of family that are, well, I'm going to say on both sides of it, that live there. Uh-huh. Yeah. I lived in the, in the West Bank, in Annapolis. Oh, yeah. For a period of, yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. I'm second generation a Holocaust survivor, actually. My grandparents too, uh, uh -huh. on my dad's side, yeah. Yeah. And both my parents came from Poland. Escaped okay. from Poland into Russia and then escaped Russia. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But there's so many people who are living under delusions, you know, that uh, this is all okay, you know. Every day there's a massacre of a hundred people. Yeah, I know. And they think that that's, that's Hamas that they're, they're killing, you know. Hamas is underground, you know, they're not on yeah, the surface. Yeah, this is the thing. They're not so great. They're not noble freedom fighters either, no. you know. No, they, not, they, uh, they attacked civilians at the at the music festival. They were killing civilians for no good reason. They kill their own people, too. You know, they don't allow uh, dissent. You know, they're real... Oh, they're well, real that's typical. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 But both sides, it's, it's amazing. It's fueled by extremists, you know. And yeah, especially those four in the, in the war cabinet who are calling for a, a, a extermination, basically. I know, I know. I know. Yeah. That's why I made a, a painting here. One Holocaust does not justify another. Yeah. As if, you know, the European Holocaust justifies going after the Palestinians who had nothing to do with it. I know. Yeah. I know. What does that but say? Think, well, this Quebec? is against uh, Bill 21, you know, the, against religious symbols. Oh, I'm yes. A, uh, I'm a teacher, so I teach, like, you know, I work in the public schools. Our teachers union gave us these like, uh, five years ago now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, they're trying to copy the French uh, law, which even forbids wearing a kippah in public. I know. But they allow a little cross and cross, you know, like around the neck, you know. I know. Well, fi finally they said here that you're not allowed to cross, but that's that's not really enforced the way the other stuff is enforced. Yeah. So it's, it's in there, it's in writing. Yeah. This is the concept. I'm a, you know, doctor of political science. Oh, yeah? Okay. Uh, four of my books are in the library here, actually. Oh, yeah? Okay. And I did a critique of the nation-state concept. No genocide in Gaza allowed. Not in our name. <laughs> That means Israel, uh, the state is not Israel. Yeah. Israel is the name of the Jewish people, not the state. Yeah. But the state has appropriated the yeah. identity. I mean, you're right. In a world of nation states, why don't we deserve one? You know? Yes, but, but the way it works. But yeah, I but agree the problem is the nation state itself. It, yeah. You know, that was the cause of the Holocaust in the first place. You know, the nation state, Hardly, one yeah. state, one country for one people, and only one people, and everybody else can get lost. Yeah, but the Holocaust. Oh, 
זה ישיינו, זה... וואו. זה טוב, אני אומר שזה מאוד מפרסם. אני הייתי יכול להגיד לך חבר'ה שם שם, אני רוצה להתחיל את זה. אוקיי, אז לא תשאיר לי להתחיל אותך, אני חושב שזה חבר'ה. אני מבין, אני מבין, אני מבין שזה חבר'ה, זה 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 חבר'ה, The nation state is very problematic yeah. for that reason, and it's also obsolete. It was invented in 1648, you know, like, what, what we need now is what I call a federation, a constitutional formula that I wrote in my book here, yeah. uh, called the Federation of Palestinian and Hebrew Nations. I recognize there's a Hebrew nation, yeah. which uh, the critics don't necessarily do. No, I know. Yeah. This so is where it's hard to be a left-wing Jew, because, you know, we're kind of caught in the middle there with a lot of things. So. No genocide allowed in Gaza, not in our name. Nice mask. Wow, they're all nice. No, but the Konar, they Bundist, they Bundist. They Bundist, anti-fascist. Well, I don't even know what that means, anyway. Um, so, you know, I... I propose, you know, a federation instead of a state. I'm not in favor of a one-state solution, not a two-state solution, but rather a federation, yeah. where each nation has their own autonomy within a common society. So, you know, yeah. because there's no place for the Israelis to go. Only 17%, you know, have dual nationality, you know, with some other country that they can get a visa for. So it's not like in Algeria where all the French colonials, you know, left and went back to France. You can't do that. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I mean, that's it. This was a country created for people who had nowhere else to go. And it, the other thing is, it was, the, you know, like they talk about this in the context of colonialism. And yeah, in a sense, but it wasn't a money-making enterprise the way Canada was. Where they came, uh, they took yeah. the land for fr fish, uh, the, fur, the fur, the fish, the wood, and then later an industrial economy. That wasn't what Israel was about, you know. Mm. Um, but that's so part of the motivation for this occupation of Gaza, though, because of the gas reserves off coast from Gaza in the Mediterranean. Okay. There's 1.3 trillion cubic meters of gas there worth okay. a half a billion dollars, 500 billion dollars. Mm -hmm. Now they want to okay, take it. Now. They're already well, loose, starting to loot it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Interesting. I didn't know about that. Yeah. yeah. But I'm not surprised. Yeah. Because up until now, you know, it's been driven by these settlers which were in the West Bank, not really in Gaza. Not in, in 15 years they haven't been in Gaza. And you know, they're not really looking to get back. So it's just weird, you know, and Hamas wanted, to, I, I feel like they also wanted to be relevant, you know. They were screaming for some attention. Well, it was a matter of, of the Palestinian prisoners. Be, before October the 7th, there was 5,000 Palestinian prisoners being held. Yeah. Only 563 of which, you know, had blood on their hands. All the, all the rest were there, you know, for because of political thought crime, basically, and and uh, and and detained under administrative detention with no charge under yeah, yeah, martial no, law. I know that, that, that there is that. Yeah, yeah. I had I was living in Madlis. I had an English student of mine who was arrested and put in prison for three years for a Facebook comment. So there's going to be an explosion, of course, yeah, under yeah, occupation. Oh, oh, I agree. They, they created the but problem. But even though there's a right to arm struggle for national liberation, you cannot allow for uh, targeting of civilians in any case. Well, that's the thing, you know. Yeah. The, thing, the ends don't justify the means. No. All the time, you know. No. I mean, you could. You, what about here? Well, this is stolen land, too. Would, would be, people be okay if people from Ganawaki killed 2,000 people at the Jazz Festival? 1,000 people at the Jazz Festival? Yeah. Well, this is yeah. what it is, yeah. you know. It's... Yeah, there was, they were so. shooting civilians at the jazz festival, but so was the Israeli helicopters, too. Yeah, but the thing is, they weren't killing, these weren't the settlers. These were probably people who were largely in the kibbutzes, I imagine, Antioch, you know, peaceniks or whatever, you know, label. So yeah, they're probably, it, you know, they like, were probably, but they were living in, in, in villages that had belonged to the Palestinians before 47. Yeah. Because those... Those territories were taken, and Gaza was reduced, you know, to a half of what it was before 1947. Yeah. And all those, you know, like Ashkelon, they were Palestinian, you know, villages and cities before. Yeah. And so these, these Gaza, you know, ha Hamas fighters, they're the grandchildren of the Palestinians who were expelled from those villages. Yeah. And like 70, 80% of the Gazans, you know, are refugees, you know, in the first place. Yeah. So, you know, like, 